2015 Prius. There's a lot of questions on Prius chat. For those of you on YouTube who have a Prius and want to know more answers and have questions about your Priuses, go look up Prius chat online and that's a place to get a wealth of information. For those of you who are on Prius chat, and have a lot of questions about pressures and temperatures and filling your system, what pressure or temperature. It almost means nothing, but on the other hand, it does mean something. I can't really explain it. It's a physics kind of thing, and it has to do with three-phase compressors and variable displacement. So I'm just gonna use today as an example, and this changes every day. Right now, the humidity here in San Francisco is unusually low at 17% humidity. It's like we're in Denver. Uh, on this vehicle, it's actually 83 degrees right now. Ambient temperature at this height off of this thermistor, taking the temperature to air being sucked over the condenser. 13% humidity, like I said, 82 degrees, 83 degrees. Here's our pressures at this day, at this time, with this heat load and this humidity it will change when the humidity change it'll change when the temperature outside changes and it'll change depending on the sun load going through the glass on the car so at all different operations i could get drastically different numbers so in this case scenario right now i have it in recycle mode so i am not taking in this hot air right here right now the glass is closed I have very little sun load. I have a little bit of sun load starting to hit the back of the vehicle as the sun is setting because it's like 4, 3.30, 2.30? I can't remember, 2 or 3.30 right now. Sun is just starting to hit back here. So I have a little bit of sun load on here and way down there you can see the ocean. So I'm not far from the ocean, but I have 39 degrees coming out of the dash right now and 29 low pressure, 151 high pressure, suction line temperature 57 degrees, liquid line temperature 95 degrees. Our sub cooling 17 degrees, superheat 23 degrees. Do not pay attention too much to superheat on an expansion valve system, but it does have some diagnostic purpose, but your sub cooling is more important. If you've seen my other videos, which I highly recommend you look up if you have a Prius and somebody tells you they're gonna top off your Prius, run the other way. Never ever allow anybody to top off the refrigerant level on your Prius trying to use temperatures or pressures. You absolutely got a hack on your hand, a butcher, you know, Genghis Kong of automotive trade. So only completely discharge, evacuate, and recharge by weight only using a scale to what your sticker on your particular Prius says because they're all different. Uh, that's about it. This is only a short video to give you a somewhat at this temperature, at this humidity, with this lack of sun load, what your temperatures and pressures would be. Now I told you I had it on recycle mode and take a look at these pressures. I'll put it, I'll take in some of this outer air. So now I put, now I'm taking that into hot outside air and you'll see the pressure start to change as the heat load goes over the evaporator. You'll see both sides start to go up. And if I was willing to stand here about five to 10 minutes, uh, you'll probably see this high side go up to about 175, 180 PSI. This is only due to my experience <laughs> with Priuses. Um, and my ducks gas temperature right now will probably climb from 39 degrees. And I can start to hear the whine of the compressor startup. It's trying to catch up. So it'll first ramp way up, way high. And it might even go up to 200 or so. But once it steadies out and satisfies the temperature it's going for, you'll actually see the high side ramp back down. If I was going to stay here another 10 or 15 minutes, which I'm not going to, uh, I have more cars to go do. And there you go. We're starting around 185. And we're just kind of hovering around there and it'll, it'll do this for the next couple of minutes. 
and then later on it'll start coming back down again and the low side will start coming back down again but I'm not going to hang around for that so just a quick note for you people on Prius chat who wanted to know more about pressures and temperatures do not let a mechanic fill up your system or top it off and he's telling you that your system is full or it's not full because he sees a certain pressure or a certain temperature absolutely do not allow any mechanic to tell you on a variable system that they can diagnose unless it was really severe and way out there that they're going to diagnose strictly off pressure and temperatures that's all for today